Hi there, my name's Whitney and welcome to TEFL Pros. TEFL Pros is your source for learning how to teach English abroad and online. On today's call, I sat down with our recent grad, Karina, to hear all about her experience on our TEFL Pros Plus course. Hey, Karina. Hey. How's it going? It's good. It's good. It's early, but it's good where I am in Australia. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I was I was just telling Karina, like, bless you for waking up so early for your grad call. Um, we really appreciate you doing that and just like sharing a bit about your experience with other people. So thank you so much. No worries. Oh, and you just graduated this I morning. Did. So it's an, it's an exciting day. It's a great day. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's hop straight into it then, shall we? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So first question that I have for you, Karina, would you mind sharing with folks a little bit about your life prior to going into your TEPL experience? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I was living at home in New Zealand where I've been my whole life and I was working with children. I'm a qualified childcare teacher. So I was in my usual day-to-day -day life, Monday to Friday, going and teaching children. I also worked with um, children with disabilities and I was working quite closely with families. Mm -hmm. So I had a really, really busy, busy life and I really wanted to change and I really wanted to travel. Travel's been something that I've dreamed about doing. I traveled back when I was 20, went to Europe and loved it and I was like I'm doing that again one day but how I do that I don't know but I knew I wanted to do it as well as working and doing something that I loved which I then found out was teaching so mm -hmm. teaching has been a passion of mine now for uh, now a few years so and I've done all sorts of um, ranges of teaching with children with adults um, with disabilities so when I found out that I could travel and teach English as an option, I was like, yes, please. I would love to do that. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I love that you have so much teaching experience already. You know, like we, we meet folks who have everything from zero teaching background to like, uh, you know, decades of experience. And it's just always great to work with folks like yourself, Karina, that, you know, it's like, I know I have a passion for this. Like yeah. I, I've tried out different facets of this education industry and like, yeah, you, you know that the TEFL is going to play really well in with Absolutely. the skills yeah, that you've already been building. So that's awesome. So then, you know, next step was, all right, you got to figure out your certification process and like what direction you want to take there. So just walk us through that a bit, like whether it's the research process or what you were looking for. Um, I'm, I'm curious in particular because you already had a background in teaching. So I have a feeling you're a bit more discerning than, than most. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I've got my degree and I've done extra little courses whilst I was in my teaching role. Um, just for extra personal development. And I've always loved, I mean, we say we love study and then you start studying, right? And you're like, why am I doing this? This is so stressful. <laughs> this is so hard. But then at the end of it, like now we've passed and we've celebrated and I'm like, this was great. This is the best thing I could have done. Um, I love furthering my learning, especially knowing that I love teaching and that I could do more especially with teaching English to again I could be children teenagers adults it could be anyone I love that part of it as well so yeah the research process I got straight into it I was like right I need to find what this is going to look like do I, how many hours do I need to look into doing it and I had never studied online before I did my courses in person so looking into what online study would look like was kind of daunting but I was excited because it was a change. It was new. That's what I was wanting. So yeah, I got straight into the process and sat on Google for hours and hours and <laughs> went through everything and then found you guys. <laughs> oh, were there any like criteria that you had in mind, Karina, like as you were going through that process? Yeah, I definitely wanted to know that my, what I was going to put myself into for study was going to give me everything 
and all the tools that I needed to go out and feel confident and that I was going to still love it. You know, it wasn't going to be a course where I was like, oh, this isn't what I wanted to do, you know, or, oh, this might not be something that's going to really interest me. And then I've just gone through all of this and excited myself to then go, oh, okay. So yeah, it was important for me to really look into it and make sure that the course I chose and the certificate I was getting was going to really allow me to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to look at it. You know, I mean, you're very honest about that process that I think pretty much all of us go through where yeah. we can be super excited. And then it's like, oh, oh, now I got to do the work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Am I actually going to like this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we come out, hopefully we come out the other end like, yay. Okay. I did it. Great. And I still love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so then, um, from there, you know, you hopped onto the course. I mean, what was your experience like as a participant? I went into it while well, I had just been traveling. So I'd just come from Bali. So life was really like, whoa, this is just great. Life is doing awesome. I'm unemployed. I'm heading to Australia. I'm going to be like, I'm living with my cousin at the moment and her little family. So it was really exciting to then come back down to earth, I guess, and be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. And yeah, I really enjoyed the process and especially being online. And like I said, I hadn't studied online before and then getting into that was really cool. I mean, I love to have to be self-motivated and, you know, every day come down and be like, okay, what's next for me? What's, what am I going to be able to learn today? And yeah, I loved the modules, all the layouts, how it all came together and every day I felt like I could be like, okay, so this is what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to allocate this amount of time to, you know, study this section and listen and, you know, take my notes. And then the next day I could go back and read those notes and then go to the next part. So I felt like, yeah, I'm a very organized person as I can probably gather. Yeah. And I really loved that I could do that and feel really good about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I noticed, uh, Karina, just by happenstance, so before this call, we were kind of, you know, looking in your student portal there for a second yeah. before we, we hopped on to record, and you took, uh, you know, it's 120 hours for, for your certification, you took around 120 days. Wow, well, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was under, it was under 120 just days, under. but, okay. but it's like around that yeah. amount. And so I just love that because it's like, you know, a lot of times we think of it like, yeah, we're excited, but then we see that huge mountain that we have to climb of yes, all absolutely. the work. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So it's like, you got started in January yeah. and here we are just, you know, few months here into the year and you're graduated and on your way which is awesome yeah yeah I think that was it was great the uh, yeah I, and I feel like I didn't it wasn't strained like I still took days where I, I didn't study and then we had long weekends and me and my family we went away my mum came and visited from New Zealand so I was like well no study for the weekend you know no study for that <laughs> week me and mum went shopping and did all those fun things but yeah so it was really great to it's interesting to know that I um, it was in that time frame. Yeah. It was still really manageable, like really manageable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Just like kind of a random coincidence there that I, <laughs> I was just thinking about it for some reason. And I looked and I was like, oh, wow, she fits like perfectly in that window. Yeah. How cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, the testament to your ability to like stay focused and plan it out and pace yeah. yourself through that process. So that's awesome. Um, and I hope that your your first experience with learning online was a good one. <laughs> it was, it definitely was. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've had people on the course before, honestly, that were like, I hate online learning. And then they come on the course and they're like, oh, this was a bit different. <laughs> this was, yeah. Like this was more fun, more engaging. Oh, well, Karina, before we hop off, any mm -hmm. advice that you would give to folks out there that are like, I don't know, Karina, like she did it. I don't know if I could do it. What would be your advice to those folks? Honestly, I also had those moments. I think I emailed you a few times like, I don't get this. This is really confusing me. I don't know what I'm doing. I had those moments. I think I rang my parents and I was like, what have I done? 
I was like, what am I doing? Well, what is this life that I've just chosen for myself? <laughs> but we're humans, right? We have, we have these moments, but do it. Just put yourself out there. Get some, you know, it made me feel really good about um, wanting to still be a teacher and that hard times you can struggle, but there's support. Like you were so supportive. And I knew that being on the Facebook group and having other people posting and saying that I'm here and, you know, I was like, I'm over here. And it still felt like we were doing it together as such. It was, um, yeah, I think that for me anyways, having that support made it so much more, um, yeah, it made those harder times and those struggles easier to push through knowing that someone else is probably feeling the same way. So yeah, so advice would just be like, yeah, it's going to be hard sometimes and you might not get it, but ask those questions, seek out that, that help, talk to someone else because you will get through it and you'll pass because like, here I am. <laughs> and I definitely had those moments where I was like, yeah, um, I don't know how I'm going to get through that, but definitely. And the course was just amazing. The online stuff still felt like we were really interactive, which was super helpful. I found that really really great so yeah do it you will be able to achieve many things it opens up I can see it already opening many doors